Yo, what's good with y'all in today's video? I have a really basic video, it's a very basic concept, but I've seen it been used in a lot of Roblox games, so I was like, maybe, maybe some people might want to know it. Um, but yeah, just uh, an owner only door. This could also work for like staff, like if you want like a door with only like, certain, like your staff, or like just generally people of, at a certain rank or certain people can only be allowed to this door, it's so, like a room or something. I want to show you guys how to make that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Of course, we're going to need a door, so let's make a part. We're just going to scale this just a little like a door. Ain't nothing too much. Let's scale it up like that, and we have our door. And then we're going to anchor this, and of course, we're going to name it door. And then we're going to have a server script inside of it. Then we're going to call this, um, let's call it owner only script, I guess. Or no, more like access script, since we're like accessing it. But yeah, so I'm just going to do the owner only concept, right? Okay, so we will. So by default, right? Can collide. Make sure you have can collide turned on by default. This means that like nothing can walk through it, right? So what we can pretty much do is we can have it to where. Wait, I just realized something. Oh shit! I just realized spell access wrong. My fault, guys. I just realized that when I was talking about it though. Anyway, um, so there's actually two ways we can do this though. To be honest with y'all. We can either have it, um, have the door, like, allow the player to walk through it on the server side or on the client side. The problem is with having this on the server side is that, say, if a player was to walk up to the door and, like, like, the, like say, the owner, for example, was to walk up to the door and stuff, the door would open on the server side, which means every single player could walk through the door so long as the owner or whoever has access to the door is, like, standing on that point. Now, if you want to make it to where, like, literally the only person you can get through is the owner, you want to make it client side. You want to, you want to be able to make it, like, the, the changes client side. So, I'm going to actually do client side instead of server side. So, we're going to delete the scripts. So we're going to head on over to starter player, then starter player scripts, and insert a local script. Same name, though. Access script. And we actually spelled it right this time. Anyway, uh, we'll delete for hello world. We'll say local door is equal to game dot workspace dot door then we'll do door dot touch colon connect function parentheses we put hit then we'll do if hit the parent find for child humanoid then we are going to check their name so let's do local character is equal to hit dot parent and then we can say if character dot name is equal to then here you guys will put the name so i'm gonna put my name you guys will also put your name if you guys wanted to have it uh to where it's like to where it's like multiple people you guys could have a table instead you guys could do local uh uh allowed players i guess All right is equal to then you have the table then you just write the names here you would say uh i don't know player one uh oh i'm gonna put space player two player three right you guys can use a table then what you guys could do is you could do if table dot find uh allowed players character dot name right then obviously not this you guys could do it like that instead right and then if it finds the per player the, the player's name in the table it'll allow them to pass so i would just leave it to just my name so it's project 19 and then if they find my name, we will then make the door that can't collide is, oh sorry, is equal to false. And door, we can change the transparency, you know, 0 0.5, right? And then we'll do, and then we'll do when they stop touching it, that it'll revert back to normal. Oh, I meant 0 0.5, my fault. But yeah, keep in mind, since this is a local script, this will only affect that the one client, like the one player and stuff like that. So everyone else in the server will not see this happen. So yeah. Then we can pretty much copy and paste this, go ahead and press enter twice, and then we'll make it touch end, touch ended. And then we and then we want to make sure that is one of the allowed players and stuff. Because we don't because pretty much it would be a waste of time for it to do something if it's not one of the allowed players. So yeah, so table define name, then true and one. And there we go. We made it. Uh, as always, the script will be in the description if you guys need to reference it. And if you need help, just leave a comment down below or join the Discord. Link is in the description. So, yeah, let's go up to it. Boom. As you guys can see, when I stopped. The fuck? Where the hell did the. What the hell? Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. Oh, my fault, guys. I meant to, I meant to this to zero. My fault. Not one, sorry. I meant zero. 
I was so confused anyway so yes we walked to the door and as you guys can see it's like halfway invisible so long as I am touching it and we're able to walk through it but then it reverts back to normal right there we go so that's it we can own our only door and boom. yeah but yeah it's a little you might have to put like a little to bounce on it and stuff so it's not it's not glitchy or anything but it does work though so yeah hope this video was helpful if it was leave a like and subscribe if y'all need help uh leave a comment down below and i got y'all but yeah i'll see you guys